So these intermolecular forces help explain a bunch of properties of liquids and solids and all kinds of natural phenomena that we're just kind of used to and, you know, we see as being normal. So surface tension, for example, is the resistance um, of a liquid to increase the surface area. If you think about, you know, flat body of water, if you were to put your hand into that body of water, you're increasing the amount of surface area. And so uh, the surface tension is due to intermolecular forces, right? The more intermolecular forces or the stronger the intermolecular forces, the more surface tension that you'll have, right? So for example, that's why this little bug can walk on this water and it doesn't just fall through. It's because these water molecules like to stick to one another. And so um, they stick to one another and they allow the little bug's leg to stay on there. Uh, this is what's known as a cohesive force. Cohesive forks are between like molecules, so they keep like molecules together. Right, so we're keeping, in this case, we're talking about water molecules sticking together. Another example of this is like viscosity. Uh, viscosity is the resistance to flow. It's kind of like the thickness of a liquid. So something like honey is a very viscous liquid in, um, you know, it sticks to one another. It doesn't flow very quickly, that kind of thing. And then, of course, the um, more slash stronger intermolecular forces that you have, the more viscous your compound is.